Whether you're new to the iPad or you just need a refresher, learning how to navigate iOS is a great place to start. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the basics, including how to operate your device using multi-touch gestures. Let's begin with the home screen, which is the screen you see here. It includes shortcuts to all of your apps and several different screens to help you stay organized. You can navigate between them using the swipe gesture. There's also the dock at the bottom and the status bar at the top. Here you can swipe down to view your notifications. Notifications can alert you to many different things on your device, including new messages, emails, reminders, and more. To open a notification, tap the one you want. You'll be taken straight to the source, in this case, the calendar app. From here, it's easy to return home using the home button on the outside of your device. Keep this button in mind because you're going to use it pretty frequently. After all, the home screen is sort of like the desktop on your home computer. To open any app, all you have to do is tap the icon. Why don't we try Safari? There's much more to iOS than simple taps and swipes, though. Here are some other gestures you can try to get the most out of the iPad's powerful touchscreen. Double tap to zoom in or out in some applications. In other apps, you may find it easier to use the pinch gesture. If you pinch with four or five fingers instead, you'll get a different result. Try this gesture for quickly returning to the home screen without having to press the home button. To access the multitasking bar, swipe upward, again with four or five fingers, whichever feels more comfortable. Here you can quickly navigate to any of your most recent apps. Finally, to switch between recent apps without having to use the multitasking bar, swipe left or right using four or five fingers. The last thing I'd like to show you is how to use the search feature. This feature is great for finding apps, media, and other items on your device that you're having trouble locating. Start by making sure you're on the home screen, then swipe to the right to access the iPad search screen. Now type what you're looking for using the on-screen keyboard. The keyboard appears anytime you're in a text field. It's even sensitive to what you might be typing and sometimes offers shortcuts. For example, a key that inserts .com if you're typing a web address. To minimize the keyboard, just tap the key in the bottom right corner. Now we can see the full list of search results. To navigate to the item you're looking for, tap it on the list. That covers the basics of iOS for the iPad. Now that you know your way around, you can start using your device and taking advantage of everything it has to offer.